Hi, thanks for tuning in to my Steam Party how-to videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about game sessions and what that's all about. So basically, a session is a virtual lobby which contains all the data that can be found by other players while it's being advertised on the Steam Online subsystem. So basically, the interface that creates a new session with the desired game settings, uh, and then also waiting for players to join that match or that session and then register players who do join and then starting the session and then after the match is played in the se session and then unregistered players. So uh, the session is basically the, the virtual part of the lobby of the games being played. And by default, uh, the Steam uh, implementation uh, for UE4 has um, two possible sessions you can have. Uh, most people use the game session and don't even know about the party session. There, so the game session is meant for the lobbies and getting games together with online. But there's also another session that is available that is underutilized. It's called the party session. You can actually create a party session that controls people in a party and then also have that separate from your game session so that way you can keep two uh, entities going at all times. So let's go ahead and talk about getting it installed in our game. So what we want to do is, <clears throat> first off, the game session is set in your game mode. And the way the game mode should work, we should have one game mode for the menu. So I'm going to go ahead and add a game mode for the menu. So game mode, base, looks good to me. Create, or there's, yeah, that's fine. And then GM, and we'll call this for the menu. And then we also want another game mode for the game, the actual game state. All right, select that. I'll call this one game menu for game. Now, when we open these game menus up, uh, let's open the, uh, the game one, um, and then we'll also open the menu one up. Okay, so the menu one, uh, we want to go to the uh, properties classes on the right side. And what we see here is we want to actually change the game session class to the Steam Beacon a game session. There you go. That's all you have to do for the, the menu side of it. So basically, talking about the menus, um, whenever we first start into a level, uh, the main menu level, we need to have that as a separate game mode than when you load into actual a map to play a game. That needs to be another game mode entity with its own settings. Uh, the way that the Steam Beacons work is that while you're in your main menu, all the information for connecting your party is saved on the sh uh, your session. And then when you travel to a game to play, uh, none of that is reconnected up during gameplay and then afterwards when the gameplay is over uh, and goes back to the menu all this the uh, steam party stuff acts back together and uh, connects everybody back together uh, back into the same session so basically while you're in the uh, game um, you don't really want to have the, uh, the that specific game session uh, manager and also the player controller classes which we'll get to in the next video all right let's look at here we have the game menu and game mode we'll go ahead and save that out save it all and what I'll do is I need to make a main menu map and I'll do that next before the next video and then we'll utilize it in there because this is actually the game and I'll need to set this one to the, uh, the game mode itself. So I'll go ahead and select on the map itself, go to world settings, settings, world settings, and go down to the game mode and I will take it here to the game and set it that way. All right, so that's your quick lesson to um, the, the blueprint side of the game sessions. On the C++ side, we can open that up and look in it. And what we have here is your Steam Beacons game session. If we open this up, it's mostly C++, so if, if you're blueprint only, uh, you really don't need to do too much on it. But uh, let's go ahead and open the session class here. There we go. And what you'll see, you can read through this on how we find friends sessions, uh, for, find friends sessions from ID, uh, and other useful utilities for utilities for the C++ side. So uh, I do have um, the party sessions down here, and then also the game sessions up there to join those sessions. So definitely read through those. If you have any questions about anything you see, feel free to leave a comment, and I can definitely uh, help you out with that. Uh, let's see here. I think uh, pretty much that's all I want to cover in this video. Let me double check my notes. Um, yes. So if you have any uh, other questions, definitely leave in the comment. And I'll get to those. And thanks for watching. Bye.